Today we're going to talk about two of the aspects of my program that are very important for, uh, for turf grass managers and we, we've put a lot of work into these to try to make them as useful as possible. The first one is our fungicide evaluation program, which I'm going to talk to you about where we evaluate new products, old products, uh, through research to try to develop and, and implement then the most effective and efficient management strategies that we have possible. Uh, extend that information through our extension programming to superintendents and other turf grass managers so that we can have disease management with the least amount of impact. Second uh, aspect of the program I want to talk about is the Rapid Turf Grass Diagnostic Service. And today I have with me Adriana Espinosa. She is the Rapid Turf Grass uh, student diagnostician and she's going to give a little bit of information about how to take a sample and what the uh, Rapid Turf Grass Service does specifically. But uh, overall, the Rapid Turf Service is the way that we extend our specific management recommendations for the fungicides that we evaluate to turf grass managers in the state of Florida. By doing this, we ensure that we have a correct diagnosis and that we're recommending the right products, the best products, at the rates that are going to work, delivered in the way that it's going to work for, for Florida turf. So I'm going to go into a couple of the projects that we have going on out here. I mentioned earlier we have several plots that are staked today and we have plot maps in addition to that if you'd like to look at the replications you can come see me after the talk but the white pieces of paper with the wooden stakes are my trials we have a dollar spot fusarium and spring diseases of seashore paspalum on this trial in front of us if you look at the signs you'll see the name of the product and the rate uh, of the product that's applied to my right your left we have a uh, another dollar spot trial on the approach looking at neem oil product trilogy and uh, in, condition, in addition to a conventional fungicide product. Over to my right behind your left shoulder you'll see the signs in a circle. They're in a circle because this is a fairy ring trial. We have fairy ring developing in a seashore paspalum and so we've put out some fungicides including DMI fungicides to look to see what the potential there is for managing fairy ring on seashore paspalum with these, these, this class of product. This class of product is known to cause phytotoxicity on Bermuda grass. We also have a turf grass safety trial backed by the original tent. And again, if you look for these uh, stakes and, and signs, you'll see that plot there where we're evaluating Trinity, uh, Tartan, and Trinity mixed with other products. So uh, we have a lot of trials out here. We also have on our website, turf.ufl.edu, a fungicide efficacy report for the entire year. We average about 15 trials per year where we're looking at individual products or combinations and comparisons of products for management of specific diseases. We evaluate new products. We also evaluate the products that we have for new diseases or new disease problems that show up through the Rapid Turf Service or through communications with superintendents and, and the rest of the industry. So. Uh, what we're looking at here on this screen is a dollar spot trial and after we get done here you feel free to walk through the trial and on this edge of the green to my right you'll see a second disease that is the fusarium patch or microdochium patch that is a new disease for seashore paspalum. Now microdochium causes a very different disease up north. Microdochium nevali causes pink snow mold. This is a completely different species of microdochium that affects seashore paspalum. And so as you walk around, walk through the green here and look down and you'll see little purple stains, brown to purple stains in the turf grass. The dollar spot on the other hand is slightly more bleached or white in appearance and typically has a size of about a quarter to a silver dollar. This uh, fusarium or microdochium is a little bit larger. You get a tip down dieback with a chocolate brown discoloration and we're finding that this is an important disease for us. Uh, on seashore paspalum as it can progress into a, a crown rot melting out type symptom similar to bipolaris that can kill the turf grass. So what we're doing is looking at dollar spot management, we're looking at fusarium management, and we're going to continue this trial into summer when we expect some rhizoctonia Z type diseases to come in here as well. As you know there are many different disease problems in Florida. We have to know which ones we're dealing with in order to make the correct management decisions. Not only fungicide product selection but also cultural management decisions. Do I put more water on? Do I hold water back? More fertility, less fertility. And so it's very important for us to get a, a, a diagnostic uh, answer that's correct. It's very important for superintendents who are making fungicide management 
decisions to get that answer in a timely manner so that they can make that decision in the time period that's going to count. Okay, so if it, if it takes too long, it's not, not any good. So now Adrian is going to talk to us a little bit more about the service, the Rapid Turf Diagnostic Service, and what that entails. Well, good morning. As Dr. Harmon said, I work in the Rapid Turf Diagnosis Service. Uh, basically, uh, this program was made for high quality turf managers. Um, and uh, the idea behind the Rapid Turf and what it makes it different from the plant disease clinic is the rapid turnaround of the uh, diagnosis. Uh, when we get the samples, ideally we like to get like one cup cutter size sample. Uh, it's enough with one per submission form. And once we get the sample, we just uh, log it in and immediately process it. The way that we process it, we take the sample, we looked at symptoms and signs, uh, then we take tissue and roots and we plate it in different media, and we do moist chamber. Uh, our preliminary uh, diagnosis is based on initial observations of the sample. We try, as I mentioned before, to see if we find some any kind of symptom signs. Um, when we look at the submission form and there's not enough information about the sample, then we contact the growers to try to figure out what has been applied, when has been applied, because sometimes we're not able to isolate things because we get samples that have recently been applied with some kind of fungicide. And so uh, we usually send uh, our preliminary recommendations within 24 or 48 hours after uh, getting the sample. And then for our final recommendations, uh, what we do is we let the sample uh, grow a little bit more, we let it incubate in, uh, in the moist chamber and let it grow in our uh, plates. And then we look again and try to find some other structures. And then we send a final recommendation. Uh, all our recommendations are based on, as Dr. Herman said, all the fungicide trials that are done here uh, in the US. Um, be, since January that started working in the program, we find, well, uh, during the spring, a lot of uh, bipolaris leaf spot and melting out. Uh, Pythium is very common. We usually find a lot of Pythium. Uh, Rhizoctonia, large and brown patch, we found some also. Uh, and lately we found uh, a new strain of Rhizoctonia, which is Rhizoctonia circinata and Rhizoctonia cia. It has been somewhat common lately. In San Agustin, the most common pathogen is Commonimesis graminis, a take root rot. And so basically that's what we do in the Rapid Turf program.